Hi there, my name is Frances Flynn Torrison. I'm one of the authors of 20 Insider Secrets for Taking Your Real Estate Blog to the ne Next Level. Um, what I'm showing you here right now is the PDF document that I created uh, with Denise that contains 20 questions and answers to those questions that are the most common questions I have as a blog coach about blogging. Um, we created this as a handout. It's a PDF document. We created it as a handout for No Blogger Left Behind, which is an educational program uh, that we're offering and getting ready to launch. So as part of our tutorial series, what I'm doing right now is preparing a tutorial on how you can take this um, handout, how you can take this special report and use it as a template for creating your own. Hey, let me give you some suggestions for titles for your special report. 10 important things buyers must know about buying foreclosed properties. 10 secrets about FHA financing your lender never told you. 20 staging tips that will add thousands to your bottom line. And 5 insider tips to win the bidding war on a HUD home. Make your title, uh, make it compelling, make it hooky, you know, answer a question, use a number, and, you know, use a, uh, a topic, a, a, a address a topic in a niche where you really, really enjoy working, where you do a lot of business, and where you really want to attract more business. Remember, if you're going to be writing about FHA financing, the people who are likely to be downloading your report and reading it are people who are buyers who are interested in FHA financing. So this is really a wonderful, wonderful tool uh, that you can use to attract your ideal client. So, so keep that in mind when you're picking a title. And then step one in the process is actually to assemble a list of questions. Write a list of questions. Get a Word document. What are the questions people ask you most? If you're writing 10 questions in your report, then come up with 10 questions. Or engage your community. Engage your, your readership on your blogs. Write a blog post and say, uh, you know, put it out there. Say, I'm, I'm, I want to put together a good report. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, what are your 10 mo or what is your most important qu uh, question about financing? What do you want to know most about staging? Uh, what is it that troubles you about buying foreclosed homes? Are you afraid of that? You know, what, you know, what, what, what do you need to know about that? Let me help. And engage your community in that. Uh, you, you might want to put the questions out on Facebook or Twitter or, you know, perhaps in your LinkedIn communities. Uh, and then on the same document, write the answers to the questions. I really strongly recommend you do this list of questions and answers. Do it. Sit down. Make it a, make it a thing to do. Make it a job. Get it done. This report is going to be a very, very important tool. Um, we're going to be exploring you know how to use this tool in multiple ways in No Blogger Left Behind. You can uh, you can repurpose the content, and and you can make it work for you, and and it's just absolutely great. So it might take you three or four hours. So but but you know what? Block that time, and get the job done. Step two is to assemble pictures. Uh, gather five or six images. If they're pictures that you've taken yourself, that's great. If they're not, make sure you have the rights to them. There are some great places where you can buy photos online, uh, stock photo places. Uh, just make sure you know that the license is, uh, is something that permits you to do that. Um, and also gather a photo of you and your logo for the About page in the special report. We're going to make it really easy for you to create a cover here. Again, we're giving you the the Word document. Uh, what you're looking at right now is my uh, my dashboard for Word 2007. This is a Word 2007 document, um, and here we go. You can just click here, and you can create whatever whatever you like in terms of um, of a title. Just do whatever you want there and, uh, and insert your title. And then to, tra to, to change your picture, what you do, of course, very easily is you can right click on that, go to the uh, part that says change picture, and then select a picture to replace. As you see, here's my, my folder for house icons. And let's say uh, I want to 
I'm writing something about uh, whatever. Here we go. So there is a new picture, um, and and again you can just change change the top. I'm not going to do that uh, here right now because I don't want to make this video too long. But you see how easy that is. Inserting questions and answers is just as easy to do. You just put your your uh, cursor over the text and write your own question and write your own answer in. Um, and again, as you're moving along, you can just 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 write just just fill it in where there's the three. Write your own and and just take care of the formatting. This is a very very simple thing to do. Now don't forget to replace our copyright line. You see we have a copyright line down here that has a clickable link. And this is a really, really good place for you to be a little bit viral without being salesy. Now we're in, uh, again, we're in Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft Word 2007. Go to the Insert tab and then to the footer right here at the top. We're going to click Footer and we're going to edit the footer. Now when we edit the footer here, you'll see at the bottom of the page that we have a very, very, you know, very, very easy uh, job ahead of us because all we have to do is backspace and write our own text. Um, put in your own, comp your own website or your own blog name um, and then of course highlight that just as you would at any given point in time and then insert the hyperlink. You'll see here we have a hyperlink in, that, is, that is taking our readers to No Blogger Left Behind sign up page. You can certainly put a hyperlink to your website. You can put a hyperlink perhaps to a certain page on your website that is relevant to the report that people are reading. So if you have a category, let's say, about financing and your report is about financing, what you may want to do is link that. Uh, that bottom hyperlink to a category tab with all of the posts you've written on your blog about financing. Be creative. Uh, once you have installed that footer, that uh, that same footer text, uh, copyright text and link will appear on every single page in your report. So that really gives you a good opportunity to be a little bit viral without being salesy at all. And certainly if people are in, you know, like your report, if it's something that is worth sharing, they may give it to their friends and, and you have an opportunity to have your link and to be able to generate some traffic. traffic as a result. Now don't forget to, to build an about page. I can't tell you how many times I feel like the proverbial cobbler whose kids have no shoes. And you know, just a few minutes ago I was telling you to gather your headshots and gather your photos for your about page. And here we are at my about page and there are no, no headshots or photos of, of either uh, me or we're at the final step right now. You can see I went and I just changed a little bit of that headline there. Uh, we've got that picture inserted and now we're going to create a PDF file. We're going to go right to the top left up here. We're going to hit save as or click. We don't hit of course. Um, and we're going to save it as, whoopsie daisy, nope. Sorry, we're going to save as a PDF right here. So when we save that we will insert the name of the document we want to save it as and that will do the job for us. So I hope this instructional uh, video has been helpful for you. Uh, I hope it will make it easier for you to create a, uh, a special report and I hope it drives traffic to your website and creates business for you. Have a great day.